Howdy y'all, got a night here with yet another deck tech video. I know, right? Two videos in one day. Um, yeah, for those who didn't catch my Jun video, uh, where I featured my other deck, um, this is the second, um, so be sure to pop over and check that one, tap the like button, maybe leave a comment there, and then there's this one. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is with me in green lately, but I've been deck building again, and I've gotten to green cards, so, trying it out. I still hold a, Orzo still holds a special place in my heart, though. So, uh, I'd love to hear some feedback, take a look, I'll include a deck list in the description, be sure to let me know what you guys think. I right, into the land base. Standard 24 land base, 4 Temple Garden, 4 Temple Plenty, because you gotta love Scry, and 4 Selesnia Guildgate. I know, ew, Guildgate's slow. I just wanted the diversity. I might actually make these planes and forests, depending. 6 forests, 6 planes, and if you happen to notice, the planes in the forest are all identical. They're, uh, I don't know, it's uh, a guy I know told me that uh, if you ever want to mess with people who, like, you know, play a lot of hand hate and, like, reveal your hand, um, this will mess them up a little bit because they'll never know if you drew a land or if you're laying down a land that was already in your hand because they're all the same. So, I don't know how true it is. I'm trying it out. We'll see. <clears throat> Going in chance, I have two Blind Obedience because, hey, got to slow down aggro decks and two Extort is amazing. Uh, Bow of Nylea, I love this card. It's a great utility card. Plus, it gives everything I have Death, uh, death Touch when I attack. Uh, going to Instance, two Selesnya Charm because this card is just a great utility card. Plus two, plus two, and trample. Get a two-two night creature token with vigilance, or exile a creature with power of five or greater. It, it does some work for you. Uh, four celestial flare because hey, you know what? Even storm breath dragon isn't immune to this, and I know it's got prop from white. So uh, three rootborn defenses because really, I just hate supreme verdict. Um, yeah. Side note: this deck was designed specifically to hate on all the uh, control decks at my local game shop. So. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I just, I get tired of all the Esper and blue-white control decks, so this is kind of a, a specifically geared at messing with them a little bit, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, for creatures, I got three Dryad Militant. Um, this is the green-white equivalent of Soldier of the Pantheon. It's a 2-1 for one mana that uh, whenever instant or sorcery cards hit the graveyard, they're exiled. Yeah, because I get real sick of seeing uh, a dude use Elixir of Immortality to bring back his entire library, only to cast Sphinx's Rev eight times in one game. It's a little depressing. And sick. So, uh, three Sylvan Kydrid, Mana Dork, zero three Defender, holds the uh, early field, and gains me a mana later for something like Miscutter Hydra, which I'm running three of. Can't be countered, protection from blue and haste. This thing gets pretty big pretty quick. Uh, Banisher Priest, just to get rid of any threats or any board presence I don't like. Hmm. It's an okay choice. Um, <clears throat> Boon Seder. I love this card. It's got some great combat trickery. Three mana for a 4-2 that you can flash in, or five mana for an aura that you can flash on. So, uh, Scourge of Skull of Veil. Now, this is one of those Hydra cards that a lot of people, I think, overlooked. It's a cheap rare, and I don't think a lot of people like it. But I personally think it has potential. Uh, I play, uh, Modern. I play Affinity in Modern. And this kind of reminds me of Arcbound Ravager a little bit. Um, basically, let's say I'm attacking with the seven counters on a Miscutter Hydra, and you Doomblade my Miscutter Hydra. I can tap Scourge of Skull of Veil, vale, you know, because I wouldn't attack with him, sack the Miscutter Hydra, and then move all the 1-1 one -one counters over here. Or, well, I'd sacrifice the creature, in other words, and just put all the 1-1 one -one counters on him. So, I wouldn't lose the 1-1 one -one counters. Of course, Scourge of Skull of Veil vale becomes the new target, but, you know, has the potential to at least swing in for nine instead of seven. So... Three Loxodon Smiters because it can't be countered, and he's a 4-4 four, four for three mana. It's ridiculous. Um, two Angelic Skirmishers. It's six mana for a 4-4 four, four Flyer that, at the beginning of each combat, I get to pick one of these. First Strike, Vigilance, or Lifelink. My combat phase, use Vigilance. On my opponent's combat phase, use First Strike or Lifelink, depending on what I need. And finally, one Angel of Serenity. Because this card just wins you the game, like, at the end. It, it just... Throws your opponent off completely. So, <clears throat> great card. Uh, sideboard needs a little work. It's uh, four gods willing, three renounce the guilds, iffy about that, two Celestia charms, three scavenging ooze, and three advent of the worm. But uh, overall, folks, I'd love to hear your feedback on this deck. And uh, you guys can leave some comments. Let me know. All right, well, that's all I have for now. Got a night. Signing out.